Okay. We're going to go over some of the tools that you need. Um, we still got that same model that we left off with. And we're going to go over some of the tools that you need to um, navigate through here and uh, get started and kind of find things and some of the things you need to know before we start the class detection. And basically it's everything that I use, it's all practical stuff, nothing fancy, to get an above ceiling coordination done. Um, we'll go through these in a, little de in a little more detail than we did yesterday. File, and I mean that's basically um, the same stuff that's in Windows, you know, print, send, import, export. Now, now you can export uh, let's see, class test and XML, PDX tags. Um, we'll probably go over this one right here. Um, Google Earth. I've never done that one. I'd like to play with that one. Um, images. Uh, I, use a, I use a tool called uh, Snagit. It's, I've exported some images out of this and it, they just it didn't look very well. I use that Snagit tool and I can write and document right over top of it. Animation, that's pretty much all I ever use in there is uh, this one right here. Uh, let's see, undo, quick find. I never use any of that stuff either. I should probably learn how to do that though. Uh, that's about it right there. Now we come into here. This is where you start getting the stuff you're going to use. Uh, here's some control bars. Uh, tilt camera I don't use. It plan thumbnail. That's that one we looked at yesterday. Which is this one over here. Uh, follows you around in plan view. And then there's one here that's a section view. Um, it just gives you a section of it. Uh, viewport um, that's basically you can split some viewports up and, this, and there's your selection tree selection sets which we're going to go over find items comments we're going to go over when we get into class detection uh, properties those are those are some of the things you're probably going to use uh, let's go to viewports save viewports New new folders, and we'll look at that. You can you can get to all that stuff right inside the the viewport uh, window. And look from um, this is basically like your ISO views and your 3D views and uh, and um, AutoCAD uh, setup. I've never played with that lighting. Uh, you don't want to get into that. display surfaces yeah you might uh, I'll show you that over in here but uh, navigation mode selecting navigation tools that's basically the same as your toolbars uh, review comments we'll find it we'll do the comments tomorrow um, hyperlinks I'll show you some of that tags and tools and that's basically all your toolbars uh, class detection presenter timeliner I don't use I don't use presenter animator scripter redline we use redline once in a while and I'll show it to you a little bit quick hyperlink smart tags measure measure works okay I have a four monitors here. I just keep AutoCAD up on one monitor and especially when I'm just coordinating my own stuff and I just go out and find it and measure it. Um, background color. You can change the background color. I like the black but and customize. And customize kind of works like old AutoCAD customize. Um, and global options is kind of deep into the background settings and stuff and basically your help that's you know what is this and your license number and your help 
talk. Help is, I don't know, it's kind of weak. My, some people say that it's, it's kind of deep, but it's, I think it's very vague. Um, so let's go over here. Let's drag this back over here. Let's look at, I think, the three most important tools that you're going to use while clash detecting are going to be, I drag these over here, viewports. Selection sets and selection tree. Selection sets pop back over there. All right. Now you can get to these up in here. This is how I usually navigate through this stuff. Um, there's four or five buttons up in there. I probably should customize that and take some of this stuff out of here. Um, there's your selection sets and your and your um, uh, selection tree and it'll turn it off and on and you've got uh, here's an important one save workspace I like to build up my workspace and save it and then if I want to go out and play with it and I screw it up I can always go back to it um, and you can always go to uh, Navis work defaults and you can go to the old classic Navis um, Extended, I've never used. Safe mode, I've never used. Uh, I'm not getting my buttons. There we go. Scripter, I don't know what that is. Class detection. And that's basically um, this over here. I, I, I keep that over on the side over there. And then you can just pin it and unpin it. I use that. Scripter, I'm not sure what that is. I wonder if that's like a macro thing. I'm not sure. Um, animator, timeline, or don't use. Properties, don't use. Find item, there's another one I think I should use. Sectioning, I don't use. That's pretty much it. Red line, I use it sometimes. Hyperlink, smart tags, I don't use. Alright, and then back over here is this our. our um, navigation tools we went over yesterday and I don't think that there's anything else that you uh, there is one tool over here you could probably there's one or two things that you might want to do with this rendering styles and it's, uh, it's a lot like your uh, um, views in uh, AutoCAD you can 2D wireframe I'm back to rendering oh. Right back to that. Um, here's one that might be. It's called a hidden line. It's kind of neat. You get everything kind of hides behind what's covering it up. And it's kind of same as in AutoCAD. And none of this other stuff. I have headlights and all that stuff. And so for building stuff, you, there's something you might want to play with and just turn them off and on and see what they do. Um, there's a standard toolbar, but everything that's in there is in my in these two, so I just I don't use it. Give myself some screen real estate. So basically, these things here, once you bring them up, you're probably going to want to build some place to put them. And the way you move these things around is you can just drag it straight over there and dock it, and you'll get the little um, you get the little tab on there. What I like to do, though, especially when I start class detecting, is you can take these and you can see, you'll see these little boxes. You know, you can you'll just go up there and you can see where it's going to dock. It's going to dock at the top. It's going to dock at the side, and then you can play with it in the center, and you can dock it right right there. Top. What I like to do, though, is I'll take these, depending on how many models I've got in there. Bring them up like this. Let's see if I'm on one screen. You drag it, and you'll have another little guy there. You can dock it to the spot on the side. And let's see selection sets, viewports, 
selection tree. Yeah, that's the way I would do it. And you can dock them like that, and then you can stretch them. And then you can take this whole thing. Well, I, th I thought you could. You take this whole thing and dock it to the side. So. And basically that's how I get started doing that. 